My name is Reverend Isaac Cheduke. Majina yangu ni Kasisi Isaac Cheduke. Jeremiah. Kitabu cha Yeremia. 31 verse 31. Yeremia 31:31. The Bible says the time is coming declares the Lord. Biblia inasema kwamba wakati waja asema Bwana. When I will make a new covenant wakati nitakapolifanya agano jipya with the house of Israel na nyumba ya Israeli and with the house of Judah na nyumba ya Yuda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's bow down our heads and pray. Dinamisha vichwa vyetu na tuombe. Father we thank you. Baba tukushukuru. Let there be communication between your word and your people. Acha kuwe na mawasiliano katikati ya neno lako na watu wako. Let your word pass. Acha neno lako lipite. Through me. Kupitia mimi. With my interpreter. Na pamoja na mtafsiri. Under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Chini ya upako wa Roho Mtakatifu. To share your mind. Kushiriki concerning this agent time. Siana na wakati huu na majira haya. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. The power of the enemy. Nguvu za adui. His agenda concerning services. Kazi yake juu ya kazi yako. In the house of worship. Na nyumba ya kuabudu. Today. Leo. We stand against him. Nasimama kinyume cha In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We level down his mountains. Tunanyoosha mlima wake. And set people God's people free. Na mungu to receive God's word. Upokea neno lako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Somebody say amen. Mtu sema amina. My message today if you are writing. Ujumbe wangu leo kama unaandika. It's entitled The New Covenant. Umepewa kichwa agano jipya. We have just read the book of Jeremiah. Tumesoma kitabu cha Yeremia. And if you read the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse from verse 5. Ukisoma kitabu cha Yeremia mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 5. When God began ministering to Jeremiah. Wakati Mungu alianza kumhudumia Yeremia, he told him things. Alimwambia maneno when he was still a youth. Alipokuwa bado kijana. And he told him before I found you. Akamwambia kwamba kabla sijakumba. In the womb I knew you. Tumboni mama mako nalikujua. And before you were born. Na kabla hujazaliwa. I consecrated you. Nilikutia wakfu. I set you apart. Nikakutenga. And I appointed you as a prophet. Na kuchagua kama nabii to the nation. Kwa mataifa. I want you to connect. Nataka uunganike. Because we just read Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 1. Kwa sababu tumesoma tu mstari wa 31 moja 31 moja. I have brought you to the foundation. Lakini nimekurejesha kwa msingi. God was speaking to Jeremiah. Mungu alikuwa anamnenea Yeremia. Preparing him. Akimwandaa for ministry. Kwa ajili ya huduma. And he told him I know you. Akamwambia mimi nakujua. And today in the word God's word. Na leo katika neno la Mungu. Point your neighbor tell him God knows you. Ambia jirani yako mguze mwambie Mungu anakujua. Whisper in his here or near him. Mnongonezee katika sikio lake ama karibu na. Tell him he knows what you did yesterday. Mwambie anajua kile ambacho ulifanya jana. He knows. Anajua. He knows you. Anajua. He knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. Even when you come here. Hata ukikuja hapa. And you with your boldness. Na ujasiri wako. You cannot fool him. Hauwezi ukamsha hata than you. Yeye ni mwerevu kushinda. The Bible says he is alpha and omega. Bila sema kama yeye ni alpha na omega. You are in your mother's womb. When he was fooling you, wakati alikuwa anakuumba, he knew ah, this one. Alijua. This one will be so and so. Alijua huyu atakuwa hivi. So there is nothing God doesn't know. Basi hakuna kitu ambacho Mungu hajui. There is nothing God doesn't know about your life. Hakuna kitu ambacho Mungu hajui kwa maisha yako. Passing through. Na kila ambacho unapitia. What God wants, lakini kila ambacho is for you to connect yourself to him. Ni kwa kwa wewe kujiunganisha na yeye. He can help you. Ili kwamba akusaidie. And you told Jeremiah. Akamwambia Yeremia. Jeremiah, I have appointed you. Nimekuchagua. To be a prophet uwe nabii to the nations. Ya mataifa. And in verse 6, na mstari wa 6, the Bible says, Biblia inasema, the book of Jeremiah, kitabu cha Yeremia, verse 1 6. Mstari wa kwa mlango wa kwanza 6. Bible says, Biblia inasema, Jeremiah said, Yeremia akasema, but God, eh mwenyezi I am just a youth. I don't know how to speak. Mimi ni kijana tu sijui namna ya kunena. God told him in verse 7. Mungu akamwambia katika Jeremiah. Never say such thing. Yeremia usiseme mambo kama hayo. Kamwe. 
Jeremiah wondered, say God I'm her youth. Hata sijui kuongea. I don't know how to speak. I don't know how. Sijui namna ya kuongea. Kama ni saa hii kijana hata sijui kukatia. Lola Mungu naye ananiletea. Jeremiah disputed. Jeremiah God told him Jeremiah never say that before. Mungu akamkataza Jeremiah. And in verse 7 God told him never try to say that to me. Usijaribu kuniambia haya. That I'm a youth. Never say that to me. Usiniambie hayo. Because everywhere I sent you you will go to Jeremiah. Kwa sababu popote nitakapokutuma unaenda. I command you. Na yote nitakapokuamrisha. To speak. Kunena. You will go and speak. Utaenda na kunena. Utaenda kijana. Kijana utaenda. You will go. Jeremiah kaona hapa iko serious. Si vile nilikuwa nafikiria. So there is nothing God doesn't know about you. Basi hakuna kitu Mungu asijui. Things that God spoke to Jeremiah. Kuna mambo ambayo Mungu alimnenea Yeremiah. And in verse 9, mstari wa 9, after Jeremiah knew that there is no joke here. Baada ya Yeremia kujua kwamba hakuna mzaha hapa. When he was quiet. Wakati alikuwa amenyamaza mikimia. When he knew there is no way out. Wakati alijua kwamba hakuna ujanja. The Bible says in verse 9. Bila sema katika mstari wa 9. God stretched his hand. Bwana akaonyosha mkono wake. His mouth. Na kuguza kinywa chake. It's amazing how God works. Na shangaza namna Mungu anavyofanya kazi. And the Bible says when Jeremiah kept quiet. Ndio inasema Yeremia alipokuwa mstari wa 9. God stretched his hand. Mungu akaonyosha mkono wake. And touched his mouth. Na kaguza and said and I have put my word in your mouth. Kinywani mwako. I have put my word in your mouth. Mungu kinywani mwako. And in verse 10 the Bible says I have appointed you over nations and kingdoms Hallelujah People want God to bless them People want God to move with them From today I want you to know something God does, never does small things Hafanyi vitu vidogo Mungu jana nini nalo ncha chusi sijisi chakula ah God does not listen to such prayers and waskizi maombi hiyo ya kulielia wewe kama umelala njaa jana na juice na unalia utaweza kufunga hata 40 days kweli God deals with people Mungu ana chukua watu courageous people watu wenye ujasiri and even Jesus taught about food na hata Yesu alizungumza kuhusu na chakula. And then mtu analia kuhusu chakula mbele ya Mungu. <laughs> Jesus taught he said, man shall not live by bread. Akasema mtu ataishi by bread. What that comes from God. Kindi katika and instead of when you come in the house of God, badala wewe unapokuja nyumbani and say God I praise you. Na kusema Bwana nakusifu. I thank you because of my situation. Nakushukuru kwa sababu ya hali yangu. I will not live by bread. Sitaishi tu kwa bata will live by your word. Lakini taishi kwa neno lako. Then God and his throne says, "Eh? Huyo mwanamume jana mongi hivyo. Atakuwa interested. Lakini no, you want to cry alone over small things. Na kulilia vitu vidogo. You see here. Naona hapa. When God appointed uh, Jeremiah. Wakati Mungu alimchagua Yeremia. He told him, "I am appointing you over nations and kingdoms." juu ya falme na mataifa. And, uh, and, and, and in the book of Psalms. Katika kitabu cha Zaburi, chapter 2, the Bible says, Zaburi mlango wa 2:27, that that will go that ask the nations of the earth and I will give you for inheritance. Ya kwamba and I will add you the uttermost parts of the kingdoms of the world and I will add you and then you come to ask for bread in the church surely and be a jirani what is that of you you find somebody fasting for a whole month surely napata mtu anafunga na kuomba apate gari mwezi mzee Do you know one thing about God? Let me share with you briefly. Something about God. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 2. Mithali mlango wa 25:2. What that I was saying? Proverbs chapter 5 verse 2. It is, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. 
ya kwamba ni utukufu wa Mungu kulificha jambo to search out a matter is the glory of a king wewe kutafuta eh, jambo ni utukufu thank your neighbor dokea jirani yako tell your neighbor ambia jirani yako god is not in the business of exposing you mungu hayuko katika shughuli ya kukuweka wazi tell your neighbor now have peace over what you did yesterday ambia jirani yako sasa wewe pata amani kwa kila macho ulifanya jana tell him you will come shtuka lakini chill sasa mm tuliza God is not in the business of shaming you. Mungu hayuko katika shughuli ya kukuweka wazi, kukuaibisha. To show people what you did. Kuonyesha so watu kila ambacho ulifanya hapana. And so that is now the glory of God. Na sasa hiyo ndio utukufu wa Mungu. Uh, you know, people say the glory of God is here. Watu wanasema utukufu wa Mungu uko hapa. And then they say that and then they cast joni. Alafu sasa wana mladi. <laughs> When they say pray, say Father in the name of Jesus. Uh-huh. Oyo kijana wewe kunichezea na afikirie mimi ni moto. Mimi ni moto yao Mungu. Mimi ni moto yao. <laughs> And that's what happens. Am I lying bishop? That's how people yeah, pray. You know, I'm so I'm speaking this to change your mind. Basi mimi na because I'm teaching I about the new covenant. Kwa sababu nazungumza kuhusu agano jipya. I want you to know the mind of God. Nataka ujue ma ma, ma um, akili ya Mungu kukuhusu mawazo ya Mungu can use you Mungu anaweza kutumia it does not matter haijalishi who you are wewe ni nani it's not about your education haijalishi elimu yako it's not about the money you have haijalishi pesa ulizonao when you are in God unapokuwa ndani ya Mungu money comes to serve you pesa inakuja kutangi you don't serve money na wewe utumika when you are in God unapokuwa ndani ya Mungu vehicle stress you magari you don't chase vehicles when you are in God marriage follows you you don't follow my marriage when you are not in god marriage goes out of you because of your pain you live in pain you pray amiss and the devil takes advantage to make you so worse to make you see like a, a certain brother said kama jinsi ambavyo ndugu mmoja alisema had somebody saying afadhali mlevi kuliko mtu mwenye ameokoka mm. how many people have ever had that wangapi hapo kwa sikia hiyo this lift up your hand kama tunjo mkono and then i had a certain woman say afadhali bwana yangu mlevi kushinda watu wa pulpit eh how many have ever had that yeah. is it true That's not the God we are serving. That's not the mind of God. God is not there. Mungu hayuko pale. To see what you do. Kuona kila ambacho unafanya. There. Mungu yuko correct what you do. Kurekebisha kila ambacho unafanya. To help you. Kukusaidia a better person. Uwe mtu mwema. Because he has established you. Sababu alikukuza and he wants to carry you from slavery. Na anataka kuondoa kwa utumwa. And the trickery of the devil. Na kutoe katika kwa sababu make them look like true. Kufanya yaonekane kana kwamba ni kweli. So that you believe them. Ili kwamba wao don't believe in God. Na ukose kuamini ndani ya Mungu. Now that one hinders you. Na sasa hii inakuzuia. It hinders you. Inakuzuia. From receiving. Because yeah. now you are focused to kwa sababu sasa wewe for smaller things. Unaweka mtazamo wako kuuliza vitu vidogo. God never deals with small things. Mungu hashughulikii vitu vidogo. God deals with big things. Mungu anashughulikia vitu vikubwa. And if you want to deal with God, na kama unataka kukuwa na mask for big things. Omba vitu vikubwa. It is not sin. Sio dhambi. The world and everything is God's. Ulimwengu na kila kitu ni ya Mungu. What am I trying to say? Nasema nini? The Bible says. Biblia inasema, he appointed Jeremiah. Alimchagua Yeremia over the nations. Jumata and if you continue to read that verse 10. Nakusoma mstari wa 10. Jeremiah verse 1 verse 10. Mambo langu ya kwanza 10. I had there. The Bible <laughs> said I've chosen you to the nations. Biblia inasema kwamba nimekuchagua kwa mataifa. And to the kingdoms. Na kwa falme to black and break down. Wewe utapanda na kumoa to destroy and overthrow kuharibu na ku to build and to plan kujenga na kupanda and as you do that in verse verse 12 so unapofanya hivyo mstari wa 12 nasema it says nasema i'm watching over my word to perform it nami nalitazama nalifuatilia neno langu kulitenda and the lord said bwana akasema you have 
doing correctly for I'm watching to see my word fulfilled mimi natazama kulifuatilia kuona neno langu linatimia god has called you to church mungu anakuita kanisani not just to listen sio tu kusikiliza but to take authority lakini kuchukua mamlaka over the works of the enemy juu ya kazi za adui to pluck down and destroy kumoa na kuharibu not to complain sio kunungunika not to mama sio kupea and not to lie na sio kudanganya and not to be confused na sio kutanganyikiwa god has called you mungu anakuita to destroy and over Waribu na kumbwa the enemy za adui to destroy the lies of the devil ukawa haribu kazi ya shetani people speak lies against you wala hapo neno wangu kinyume chako you don't confront them wewe you don't confront them wewe hauwezi nakubishana nao but you go on your knees na kinyume kwa magoti yako you say god you know me unasema mungu unanijua what they say is not true na watu wanasema sio kweli i want to destroy nataka kuwatakia of lies to change the lie and God will do it for you na Mungu atatendelea to attempt to destroy the sickness in your family the sickness that comes upon your body the, the, the problems demonic forces of the darkness that is used by the humans in the form of witchcraft to destroy you with all the authority that has been released na mamlaka yote ambayo yameachiliwa small dispute yani kashida tukabili in marriage katika ndoa mimi naona nimefika hapo mm hapa siwezi hapo ndio laini yangu inafikanga umechora laini joseph umechora laini joseph and then you come here nimemuona bwana nimemuona bwana anapendo sa wape <laughs> huh? stop playing with authority a church is a place of authority Ma, kanisani ni mahali pa mamlaka how much time do i still need <laughs> i don't know <laughs> please somebody be my timekeeper uh, you will do like this otherwise i may just uh, be start speaking my things yani ufanye hivi okay i may start speaking my things bora kaanza kusikia maneno yangu hapa and the bible says in verse 18 biblia inasema katika mstari wa 18 mtafoli mjeremia akamwambia yeremia verse 1 verse 18 mstari wa kwanza mlango wa 18 mlango wa kwanza 18 i have made you today as a fortified city leo nimekufanya kama mji ulio na ngome a pillar of iron wewe utakuwa wewe ni ngome ya ya chuma 
and a bronze wall to stand against the wall land against the kings of Judah now we are not making you to injure against priests are you the king of the world now kids are not only men to your neighbor i'm not going to have a nguvu na ujui mm you are so powerful and you don't know mambia kuwa serious be serious mambia wacha wana eh yes stop kidding you are not at home i'm always kemea ni ai Then you come in church and I find a praise and worship kweli. Eh na we have sorry ni yangu. Okay, he told Jeremiah. Ana mwambie Jeremiah today. Leo I have fortified you. Nimekufanya mji wenye boma. When I touched your mouth. Nilipoguza kinywa chako I fortified you. Nilikufanya because I put my word in you. Nabii niweka neno langu ndani yako. You are fortified. Wewe umezingira. I tell us kings. Kinyume cha I tell us politics. Kinyume cha siasa. I tell us officials of Kanjo. Kinyume cha maafisa wa Kanjo. I tell us chief priests of which group. Kinyume cha makuhani wa Kanjo. I tell us people of the land. Kinyume cha watu wa You are fortified. Wewe umeliko. You are like an iron pillar. Kwa sababu wewe ni wewe ni kama nguzo ya chuma. Wewe ni mnajua iron pillar kweli? Ninyi mnajua kweli nguzo za chuma? I'm sure you. Tena kuonyesha. This is an iron pillar. Hiyo ni nguzo ya chuma. It's holding this church. Imeshikilia ikanisa. Strongly. Imeshikilia kwa nguvu. That's how you are. Hiyo ndivyo namna ulivyo. Iron pillar. Amen. Mm, nguzo ya chuma. And the Bible says. Biblia inasema. If God is on my side. Kama Mungu yupo ndani yangu. Who can be against? Nani awezaye kuwa kinyume changu? You come to me na manguli na maboxing. Eh. Yeah. I wish I was a woman sometimes. Yeah. Ati mtu anakuja anataka kuni box. Na mwangalia na mwambie dadi, mimi yeah. unataka kudundia Yesu. Yeah. Mimi unataka kudunda. Eh? Yeah. 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 Mimi. <laughs> I take authority. Yeah. I am fortified. Mimi nime God touched my mouth. Mungu ameguza his word in me. And he gave me a husband. Na kanipa mungu not a boxer. That's why I am an iron. Now I take authority. Jesus. 
jina la Yesu Yesu smart. Funga kinywa chake. Utaanza kukoa koa na anawacha kuhubiri ana yeye. Yes. Who will be the president? Muko mrengo kani? Muko gani bwana? Anyway, so We need to take authority. Yes. Hakuna cha mrengo. Wewe unataka nini? God can give you. Mm. Upendi ruto. Mbele mtoe. Upendi Raila mtoe. Yeah. Si kwa kuongea na jirani yako. Go to your knees. Mm. The Bible says, Biblia He has says, given us ametupatia nations, mataifa, kingdom, kings, and priests, officials. Kuja hapa kujiambia mimi official wa council, mmekata license kwa nini? Mm. License ya kuhubiri. Angalia. Eh? <laughs> Unisema umekata license kweli? Sima ni official. Ah officer. Wow. You're standing in a holy business. Amen. You're standing in a holy business. Ni biashara takatifu. And uh, when you come here, na unapokuja hapa, don't come with an arrogance of demons. Usikuje na mapepo. Kibure mapepo. Unafanya kama mwenye unamsongea kidogo. Mm. Don't come with arrogance of demons. Usikuje hapa na kibure ya mapepo. And the power of God in you. Na nguvu za Mungu ndani yako. When it meets his eyes. Inapokutana na macho yake. When you realize him. Mm, yani Sema ah mama sijakuja. Ni kazi tu mimi ofisio. Anasema ni ofisio. Mimi tu ni kazi nilikuwa nafanya. Oh, ah sema hivyo akaribu kitu. <laughs> Sasa utangocha. Ninajipanga sijui kwa hii mwezi ama mwezi ujao lakini license nitakata. Mm. Others unakunywa soda gani? Mm. Power, authority, courage. Nguvu, mamlaka. Ni sasa waika joke. Wewe ndani wako ifunge. Anjo, funge kile kitu. Funge tukae nje. Unakuja unatengeneza makuchi. Mama mwenye hapa ni nani? Sio maana kumefungwa. Hata <laughs> wakujangi sijui kama wamekata license ya makanjo. <laughs> Na ni wewe. Na ni wewe ndio mwenye uongo. Alafu ukikuja hapa chachi huko tu hapa. Eh. <laughs> And do you know something about lies? How many people have ever lied here? Wangapi ambao wamedanganya? Lift up your hand. Nani wewe danganya? Eh na kumbe ni watu your hand just like this faithfully. Kumbe mnakoa uongo. Ilo tu mbona? Baba yenu ni shetani. Pole kuambia. Sasa wewe nakuambia pesa tuna church. Hakuna. So we have to change in this new code. What do you want to enjoy hivi mbele ya Mungu? Nasema hata Abraham alidanganya. Eh, you must say I'm not going to know that. Jesus Christ. Mungu tuurumie utusaidie kuanzia leo. What do you want? The Bible says the devil is the father of lies. Biblia inasema ati shetani ndio baba ya waongo. Wewe unataka kuoa bibi ndio unamdanganya. Kama wewe unafanya amen maana cha huko nini? Eh. Mimi maana cha huko. Wapi? Ikuti. Ikuti ya wapi ya Marsabit? Unasema Unasema nasema naenda once by week ndio mbozi. Nasema ya mbaka. Siwezi kwa kobora hata nipige hata hata nipige simu. Unapiga simu ya fire ya power. Hello. Ah laka tumsifanye mchezo pesa iibiwe. Weke kwa safe. Weke kwa safe. Mhm. Alafu Wasichana nao wanaingia box. Eh, hey, nimeangukia leo. Kana panguza mainzi ni ma. Hii ni ka, hii nimeangukia. Mungu amenichip maombi yake asangi Mungu. Eh, hey, God thank you. I worship you. I worship you which God. Pray fast. Oma kwanza. Wacha kujifanya do I know you. Somebody comes tells you I want to marry you. Say, well, that's good brother. That's good. Yo ni sawa. Um, what else? Nini kingine? Zime ni tatu nikuwa aje aje wa 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 na una nipeleka mbio anyway nduko ni vizuri lakini waacha tu waacha tu ombe please pray and see what god says about it and then you change when you go to your knees say god huyu anataka kuniona mm. nionyeshe huyu ni mtu wa aina gani kwanza mm. yes take authority you are not just anybody chukua mamlaka wewe tu sio kitu tu so Why am I saying we are in the new covenant? Basi bwana anasema tuko katika agano jipya. What's the time now? Um it's 1 Oh my time is expired. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. 
Is it expired? Oh, amen. Oh, okay. And the Bible says in verse 19, as I finish, yes, I'm they will fight against you. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. But they will not overcome you. For I am with you to deliver you. Why, why, why don't you understand God? People, people are fighting against you. Fighting your marriage. Fighting you in the office. office. <laughs> Just laugh as well. <laughs> I'm fortified. Mm. Tell them I'm fortified. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do. Because, because people cannot overcome you. Mm. You are like a fortified city. They cannot overcome you. They cannot take your place. They cannot take your marriage. They cannot take your business. They cannot close it down. They cannot take your praise and worship leader. They cannot take the anointing God has put upon you. fights for you, well, which we began and which is our title today in summary, the new covenant. Jeremiah 1 verse 31. Behold the days are coming when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and Judah. And verse 32 says not according to the not according to not sorry not according to the covenant that I made with your forefathers. I took them by hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt which my covenant they broke although I was a husband unto them they broke the covenant now I want you to listen carefully you know I hear when people sing I serve a God who changes not I love God is a changing God my, dear, my friends and I want you to get me very clearly. God is not just fixed. Mungu the way people think for him. Some people try to put their wisdom to think for God. When God took the Israelites, he had a covenant with them. And what is a covenant? A covenant in the word, in the Hebrew root word, katika eh, Kiblania, the word is called Barabara. Hilo mm. neno linaitwa hivyo. I know people now will say, eh, hey, pastor, leo hata tudanganya. Barabara? Yes. Uh -huh. Barabara is a Hebrew word. Ineno la Kiblania. Barabara, hilo neno, means covenant. Na maanisha agano. And uh, Another word of covenant in Hebrew is called karat. Inaitwa hivyo karat. Karat means where roads meet. Wale ambapo barabara zinakutana, makutano. So the, the, the word covenant it's a conditional promise ni ahadi ambayo ni, ni ahadi ambayo ina Masharti. Sorry, conditional promises masharti. made to humanity by God. And a covenant has three things. Na agano vitu vitatu. Number one, Sifa ya kwanza. it has a sign. Inayo ishara. Number two, ya pili. it has a promise. Inayo ahadi. And number three, Na ya tatu. it has a meal. Hmm? A meal, chakula. Ina chakula. My English is not very good nowadays. Shakura. So, basi, in the new covenant, katika agano jipia, Jesus Christ is our new covenant. Yesu Christo ni agano letu jipia. When Jesus was being born, yesu alipo zaliwa, there was a sign. Kulikuwa na ishara. A big sign. 
nyota kulikuwa na kulikuwa na nyota kubwa ambayo ilikuwa imeshuka chini in the east upande wa mashariki such star na nyota kama ile used to occur when a king is born ilikuwa inafanyika wakati ambapo mfalme anazaliwa that was a sign ilikuwa ni ishara that a king is born ya kwamba mfalme amezaliwa sign number 2 ishara ya pili when jesus yesu came to be baptized alipobatizwa in the book of matthew chapter 3 verse 17 uh, kitabu cha mathayo mlango wa 3 14 hadi 17 you can read that at your own time unaweza soma kwa wakati wako mwenyewe the bible says bila sema heavens were opened mbingu zilifunguliwa and then the there was a voice heard kukawa na sauti iliyosikika and the spirit of god descended na roho wa bwana akashuka asadov kama njiwa and it dwelled on jesus na akakaa juu ya mabega ya yesu after baptism baada ya ubatizo so that was a sign basi ilikuwa ni ishara because a voice said kwa sababu sauti this is my son huu ni mwanangu whom i am well pleased ambaye napendezwa naye listen to him msikizeni Jesus is our new governor. Yetu ni agano letu jipya. Jesus is our new governor. Yetu ni agano letu jipya. And then number 2 approach. Jambo la pili ni ahadi. If you read in the same book of Matthew, ukisoma kitabu kile kile cha Mathayo, chapter 11 verse 28, mlango wa 11:28 to verse 30 hadi 30. it at your own time. Soma kwa wakati wako mwenyewe. The Bible says, Come to me all you who labor. Njooni kwangu enyi nyote mlioleta na mizigo. Hopefully burden. Yeye nyote mlioleta na mizigo mizito. And I will give you rest. Nami nitawapumzisha. There are so many promises. Kuna ahadi nyingi sana. Underline promises. Sia mkazo katika neno ahadi. Not just a promise. Sio tu ahadi moja. So many promises. Ni ahadi nyingi. Come to me. Njooni kwangu. If you are heavily laden, kama wewe una mizigo mizito, life has not been kind to you. Maisha hayajakuwa yenye neema kwako. Come to Jesus. Njo kwa Yesu. And you will find rest. Na wewe utapata pumziko. And then another promise, hadi nyingine. John chapter 14 verse 6. Yohana mlango 14:6. The Bible says, inasema, I am the way, mimi ndio the jio. truth and life. Kweli na maisha. No one comes to the Father. Hakuna wewe kuja kwa Baba. Ila kupitia kwa that is a promise. Hiyo ni ahadi. So if you are in Jesus, basi ukiwa ndani ya Yesu, the only way, you know and you can touch the heart of God. Kuguza moyo wa Mungu. And as I finish a meal, napotamatisha chakula. Matthew 26:26, Mathayo 26:26 up to verse 29, hadi 29. You can read it at your own time. Nasoma kwa wakati wako mwenyewe. Because time is not on our side. Kwa muda haupo upande wetu. Jesus say, Yesu anasema, This is my bread. Huu ndio huu ni mkate wangu. Take this is my body. Uchukue ule kwa kuwa ni mwili wangu. Eat my body. Kula mwili wangu. Eat my body. Ule mwili wangu. And then The Bible says it continues drink from my cup. Bila sema kwamba unywe kutoka katika kikombe changu. All of you. Nyinyi nyote. For this is my blood. Kwa kweli ni damu yangu. Of the covenant. Ya agano. Which is to be slayed on behalf for me, for forgiveness of sins. Ambayo inafaa kumwaga kwa ajili ya msamaha wa dhambi. A covenant. Agano cannot be sealed. I will without a promise. I will without a meal. I, I, I will zikatiwa muhuri pasipo ahadi, pasipo chakula and without a sign. Na pasipo ishara. There is one. Kuna yeye mmoja who fulfilled this. Ambaye alitimiza haya. And he ushered us into the new covenant. Naye akatuingiza katika agano jipya. And when he came, na alipokuja, he changed and taught us how to pray. Alibadilisha na hata kutufundisha namna hiyo. If you get time read Matthew 6 ukipata wakati soma Mathayo 6 chapter 9 verse 13 mstari wa 9 hadi Lord's prayer ombe sala ya Bwana very important mbona ya muhimu sana it speaks about inalena kuhusu how to greet god before you go to him namna ya kujitambulisha kwa Mungu kabla hujaenda kwake but some of you kinyo wengine when you go to god ukienda kwa Mungu you just go rapa shanta baka tarapa baba wacha kielele ya pendekosti mmm wacha na hiyo kielele wacha kielele mbele kwa kuongea sana kwa mimi eh 
He taught us. Alitufundisha za ovyo mingi. Sometimes just listen even. Wakati mwingine hata sikiza tu. He said our father in heaven hallowed be your yani Mungu pia anafurahia kwa kusalimiwa mm. na kukua kusemwa yeye ni nani wewe unakimbia tu unaenda mbele ya president president mimi sina plot sijachenga nyumba sijafanya nini nini utapewa kweli mm. watakuangalia wazee maya hawacha kutuangalia lakini ukienda useme <coughs> eh hey, baba taifa rais wetu mtukufu wa nchi ya Kenya <laughs> naibu wake na wengine wote You will be given. Mm, so you taught us how to pray. Basi alitufundisha namna. And then in the prayer, katika umwaje kirero kwa kuomba na wafunza mambo mengi kwa baba. Eh, don't just God, Mungu haendi na msisimko. Mm. The Bible of the book of Romans says, Warumi nasema, God is not a respect of persons. Yakomba, so if you come mungu. to vibrate before God, you be questing your time and you will go back with your problems. Fully, fully invested with demons. Mm. Now sasa utalala. Afadhali hata vile ulikuwa. Because the Bible says zingine saba za stake. Well, don't play this spiritual warfare usichese so, in the next prayer he taught basi katika sala ya mtakatifu god before you speak to him bwana kabla hujanena kwa speak about his will nena kuhusiana mapenzi not your will sio mapenzi yako god i want to get married mungu anataka kuolewa let your will be done mapenzi yako not my will sio mapenzi yako you for yourself ila mapenzi yako god i want to be it mungu anataka kujenga not my will sio mapenzi yako will be done hata mapenzi yako yafanyike ah kitu zote mnaanza mnajenga sasa ile nyumba inaanguka ndio mnakuja pastor consecrate nyumba inakuwa na mashetani <laughs> we need to change that nafaa kubadilisha and then he said speak about nena kuhusu chakula Give us our daily bread. Tupe mkate wetu wa kila siku. Kwa naongea mingi na hata uombi vitu. Mm. Unaomba tu gari, 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 gari. Ah. <laughs> you are not praying anything. Mm. Unataka gari utakula gari ni chakula watukupe. <laughs> Utashindwa ku fuel. Haya <laughs> shauri yako. Na vile fuel iko na shida. Anyway, so <laughs> You know you can pray gari, gari upewe na ushindwe. Mm. Ibaki historia. <laughs> Back to story. Mm, kwa na sukuma badala ya hiyo kubeba. So in the Lord's prayer he taught many things. He taught about wana, alifundisha. Let your kingdom come. There is a kingdom Alba of God. Uje. Eh? You will be done. Mapenzi ya kufike as it in heaven. Kama jina. In the land of the living as it seven. Katika nchi ya waishio kama jina. Even some of you just to say let your will be done upon my wife or my children. Here, in this marriage here on earth because god knows everything sasa mungu anajua kila kitu and then blah 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 mm, blah blah and then he taught about forgiveness kisha akafundisha kuhusu msamaha he said forgive akasema samee me as i forgive other kama ni it means for you to be forgiven forgive other inamaanisha kwako wewe kusamehewa wewe ni mawe kusamehewa watu alafu unataka usamehewe mm wani ngumu kwa siwezi ku huyo huyo hata mm. mbwa oh, nyeusi hata Mungu asimame tu hapa siwezi msame huyo tutasameana tu mbinguni asimame tu hapa na malaika wanafaa siwezi oh surely don't be like that usikuwe he said forgive others samea wengine as god forgives you majinzi Mungu akusamea and forgiveness is very important Jesus also repeated that yes tena karejelea hiyo in Matthew chapter 18 katika Mathayo 18 verse 21 to 22 mstari wa 21 hadi 22 when Peter asked him how many times should i forgive petero alipomuuliza anaweza samee mara ngapi and then he said should i forgive seven times ni samee saba mara saba Ah, Jesus told him seven times seven. Samea mara 77. Sasa wewe wamekukosea tu kidogo umetoroka. Sitaki kukaa na huyo mtu. Prison amenibeba ufala. Mm. <laughs> we can't all people and we hear these words. Mm. Forgive people. Samea so as I finish. Bas ninapotamatisha. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. No your place in the house of God. Jua mahali pako katika nyumba ya Mungu. You are not just any person. Wewe tu sio mtu yeyote. The power of God is within you. Nguvu za Mungu And today I'm going to Na leo naenda kuomba. If the devil was using you. Kama shetani alikuwa anakutumia. Misusing you. Akikutumia vibaya. He are going to 
command that gift to leave you. So that you know your portion and the exercise the word of God. God is faithful. That's why he does not expose you that linen in public. He loves you that much. Therefore be serious with him. Let's stand up upon our feet as we finish. You different. Amen. As you sing, I see you different. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you very much.